Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse, aka BGFH, and I am back for another iOS low vision spotlight game video. And this time we're looking at a <clears throat> another kind of classic game that has been brought to mobile in a pretty decent way. A couple years ago we had Super Mario Run. Now we have Prince of Persia Escape. I knew nothing about this until literally a few days before it came out. And I don't remember how I heard about it. I don't remember if it was something that was on some YouTube uh, thing that I saw or Twitter or something. But I'm like, you know, that could work. And I picked it up. Uh, you can get it for free. But they thankfully, they do have a one-time purchase where you can remove ads, and that I am absolutely perfectly okay with. So let's just jump right into Prince of Persia here. Now this is from the same company that brought us another one of my, uh, admittedly one of my go-to games other than threes. Uh, they brought us Balls, B-A-L-L-Z. That little kind of, where you have those little boxes and you you, know, you kind of you shoot these little balls at different angles to kind of try to break the boxes um, great thing to listen to while listening to podcasts but here we go this is Prince of Persia escape now I purposely started on my iPad because I think it's gonna make us start from the beginning which is good because what I might do <clears throat> is I might also quickly during this video bring up my iPhone and I'm on like level 20 something or some 23 25 something like that and it's getting kind of hard so I wanted to start at the beginning where we actually had a chance to progress you can see the settings on the left there our Facebook typical thing I don't know what that middle one is we got a Twitter we got a leaderboard all right tap to play so basically if you have played any of the original Prince of Persia games, like they came out on all the old systems, I mean, Apple II, I played it on the Apple II, there was an NES version, there was all kinds of basic home and uh, home computer and home console ports of this, where basically you had, you had, what was it, like an hour to get through this maze of craziness, like of traps and pits and whatever, and you had to save... Um, you know, save the princess or whatever, and if you didn't, well, guess what? Game over. Um, this one, they've turned it into, I'm not going to say an endless runner, a level-based runner. Your prince, as you see there, he will run to the right, and you <clears throat> basically tap to jump, just kind of like Super Mario. And you think, oh, that's really easy. And yeah, it starts out that way, but whoo it gets kind of hard. Because there is really, like, there's timings, there's, you kind of have to, like, little tap lightly or tap hard to, to, do, to do different heights in your jump. Let's go. Okay, we're running. Tells us to tap. Spikes, all right, that's easy enough. Jump. Jump. Double spikes. All right. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right. We can handle level two. Um, I already did rate it. Not now. I already... I think I think I did rate this. All right. Here we go. Jump. Now, you collect these little whatever my, whatever my bobs... You get enough of them, you can kind of you can con continue from like a last checkpoint sort of a thing. Oh my God, this is easy compared to where I am right now on the phone. Oh. All right, let's go. Level start. Oh, say okay. I wasn't paying any attention, so let's restart. So there is your first trap of <clears throat> you have to jump. And those, um, okay, we'll jump up here. Those thin platforms, they will fall from under you. 
Now this seems like, oh, okay, I was gonna, oh, the, oh, there's a spike, I wasn't paying attention, I'm like, oh, I made it, I looked at the stairs. Okay, that should be easy enough to do, though. Jump! I see now this will drop. All right, jump, 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 and sometimes there are spikes in those as well that you have to kind of go around. Okay, we're running. Huh? Do we? Oh, I did it again! Oh my god, that is totally me. That is not the game. That is me just being. Colossally stupid. Wow, that's unbelievable. Alright, third time's a charm. Uh, third time's uh, me not being stupid, I hope. And if it is, God help us all. Whee! Yay! I jumped over a spike. Good lord, I should have beat that the first time. All right, see, now you see it changed into a different environment here. And the contrast is really good. And this is a game, oh God, I can easily see on my phone. So this looks fantastic on my OLED. Oh, Jesus. See, that one I jumped too late and you have to jump. This one we're starting to get into like, okay, how hard do you tap? Because if you tap too hard, you'll overshoot. Uh, you'll, you'll jump and you'll land on something, but you won't have enough time to jump again. Or there's just some really interesting and intricate timing stuff going on here. Okay. And hurt. There we go. Oh! Okay, you pulled yourself up. I, okay, that was close. Whew! There we go. Level five. All right, that's where we're going. All right, let's go. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at something else, and okay, let's do that again with less failure. <laughs> Jump. And if you, like I said, if you've played any of the old Prince of Persia games, I mean, this looks right out of those. I mean, it's actually, they did a very, very nice job of bringing this to a runner type of thing. Oh yeah, God, this is so much easier from where I am right now. My where I at where I'm at on the phone. Oh God. Okay, we grab those. Cause I do kind of want to show you. Okay, see there we have some spikes. We have to make sure that we don't. Oh God! Oh my! What? Hey? Now, these levels are random, I think, because what I find is that I see certain patterns. Like, I'll recognize, oh, there's this spike and then that spike, or there's this type of wall and this kind of jump. But they, there's like these pieces that they can randomize. Okay, that one was not nice. Okay. Certainly a little tricky here. Jump. Okay, climb up the walls, jump that, oh, see I jumped too late, I didn't, I landed too late on that falling platform, and I didn't have enough time to jump, um, instead I just kind of walked off and landed on the spikes, let's try this one more time, This is another game where, like I said, I can just kind of play a podcast while I do this. Oh, no, I didn't do it hard. Damn it. Okay, I had to do that first couple light and then the other one, that one, that that last one. I will beat this because I know I can beat this. This isn't... This is by far, this is not the hardest thing I've ever done in this game. And it's funny because you know exactly, like, the moment you touch the screen... The moment you tap, you know if you've done it right. You're like, oh shit, that's not going to work. See? Yeah. Easy peasy shit. 
Yeah, no! I did it too late again, see? I needed to bunny hop there, but it was just reaction. Now I know that. Literally the last obstacle, 96% completed. I like how it kind of tells you, all right, this is how much mi of the misery you're through. Let's see, I can do this. This, I've seen all of these obstacles before, except for that, that ledge with the three spikes on it. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Or I don't remember seeing it. But I should be able to beat this. I gotta jump those those last timings I gotta do differently. Oh, oh, damn it, I did it wrong again. <clears throat> you know exactly what you, like, I knew as soon as I tapped. You know whether you did it right or not. You're like, oh, okay. And thankfully, it doesn't take long to start. You have that little loading screen, but it's only a couple seconds. If that. On older devices, it might be a little longer, but um, on my iPad Pro and my phone, it's fine. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, spike is. F you, F you, F you. Ha ha, I win. All right, let's see if we can... I'll get to somewhere where it's just... Okay, what do we got up here? Okay. Yeah, these are totally different from when I... Oh, okay, yeah, watch this. So this is the first one where you literally can't get past that, which you end up having to do. This one stumped me for a couple times. I didn't see there's a switch, so... Um, this type of obstacle, what you gotta do... Pop down there, and then that opens up. Yeah. Oh, yeah! I remember those traps. They suck ass! Okay, those actually, I think you can run, and you'll you'll just run over those. Like, you think you have to jump? But I think with the stride of your character, I think he can... Alright. Down here. Jump. Oh, God, that's bad. I don't like those. Yes. Okay. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Hopscotch. Yay! Alright, level 8 coming up. Whew. Oh, getting, uh, yeah, it's starting to get harder now. Oh, maybe these aren't random. This does look familiar. Oh! What the ass? No, these, some of these, I don't remember. If these are fixed levels, I don't remember some of these. I remember this little obstacle there. You're like, oh dear god. So apparently I'm supposed to be able to fall. Oh, I did it again! No! I should have walked. Again, you see spikes and you panic. And you jump. That's the thing, is you can't panic. You have to know exactly... You have to familiarize yourself with exactly how these obstacles work. And not just like, oh my god, I see spikes, jump. You know, you have to just... No exact oh, shh, I'm in in. Okay. Get up there. Hurt. Jumping. Jumping. I gee. Okay, I didn't. Oh, jeez. Frickin' A. Oh, oh, I did it too late again. 90%. All right, let's give this one more time. Yeah, then now the levels are starting to get a little longer. And <clears throat> it's a little tricky-dicky. Okay, I, can, I didn't realize I could jump up over there. All right, we're going to jump down there. We're going to flop, flop. Ah, a little bunny hop there. Jesus. Okay, get up there, dude. So I could have taken an upper route, but I didn't. Hey, jump. Hey, jump. Okay. Jumping. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, I almost... Okay. Hey, okay. Yeah! Who's the man? Alright, let's see if we can get to level 10, and then I'll... Then I'll go to my phone. I'll see if I can get to level 10. I'm not gonna promise anything.
Duh. Okay. Okay. I missed that thing, the collectible there. I don't care. Oh, Bob! Really? Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. This one could be tricky. Jump. Jump. And you can, you can totally whiff it. Like, I've done it where, like, I've missed... Um, I, I, I jump too early or not hard enough and I totally whiff the jump and plummet to my death. Uh, that can absolutely happen. Or you jump too early. Okay. Ah! Fricker! Okay. One more time. And th this game absolutely has that, okay, I, I know I can beat this one more time. And it also has that thing of, like, you spend a bunch of time on one level and you get better and better. And eventually you just start sucking, so it's like, okay, you just gotta call it good for the day and... You know. Okay. Walk, jump, walk, huh. There we go. I like them apples, huh? Oh, shit. N n you would do that, and I can't... I literally can't back up. That's the one... That's the one thing... When you get into a point... Like, it won't let you jump, you know, kick off and go backwards like you can with those walls. When you see that and you realize you jump over that switch, that's the one really cheap thing. You should always have a way to quickly recover, not just like, oh, okay, I see, you know, you just have to wait to fall. That's kind of a dumb obstacle. Because in the real game, you could just walk backward and go, oh, crap, okay, let me get on the switch quick. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, uh, yeah, gotta know when to walk, when to jump and when not to. Now, don't jump. There we go. Hi, oh, no, I didn't, why didn't you jump? Oh, 90%, okay. I should be able to get to level 10. Like I said, I don't remember where I left off on the phone, but it's further than this. It's like in the 20s, I think. 20s or even maybe 30s, I don't even remember. All I know is it's feckin' hard. That's all I remember. Okay. Yeah, and see, though, you'd hit your head if you went to the bottom route there. Okay, don't jump. Okay. Hi! Hi! Jump! Okay. Oh, I almost, I almost whiffed that final jump. All right, you know what? Level 10, I'm good. Let's just see what it is. Oh. Wait, what? Let me see that again. Because that didn't seem like it's something I could... Really? I, I, I tried to hit jump. I just want to see... Jump! Oh. I don't remember this. Okay, yeah, so now we get trampolines. This is the last time. Okay. Oh, jam it! Dang it! Okay, eighty-four percent, not too bad. But we're gonna go ahead and leave that, and then we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna bring up my phone here real quick. I'll show you where I am in there. Although we are, like I said, we're getting to be really hard spots here. Uh, okay. Let's bring down that. There we are. Um, okay, how do I get rid 
Okay. Where are we? Oh, yeah. It's all red. Oh, I don't have the sound on either. I'll change it in a second here. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, level 34. No wonder. Okay, I lied. I got farther than I thought. <laughs> yeah. It's not very easy anymore. Jump. Jump, jump. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you have to bunny hop that because you have to get over those spikes, too. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. How? I don't know how to... I'm not sure how to beat that. Because you got to get enough... Fuck. Okay. Uh, see, there's, there's really rigid timing. It's all in the tap and kind of tap and hold kind of a thing. I think I was on the right track. You have to bunny hop, like, uh, uh. Mm. And, but then you have to make a final huge jump quickly enough right before those spikes. Wow. Um, I must have mentally blocked this level out because I don't remember... I remember it being like a red level, but I don't remember it being this... <clears throat> okay, you, you stumbled on the way up. I didn't jump high enough. You see him kind of trip when he hit that last platform, so I didn't get it in my running speed. Yeah, I don't remember... I don't, maybe I didn't try, maybe I just beat a level that I was so glad to beat, I just stopped. Ugh! Jump! Fangenj! Oh my god, this level sucks hard! Oh my god! This game is great, but man, eventually... Yeah, you're gonna... Oh, I did it wrong again. Okay. Nope. Yeah, kill me. Okay, uh, you got a bunny hop, and then... All right, I'm gonna give this three tries, and then we're gonna wrap up the video. We get three tries. Okay. Huh? Hop, hop. Uh! Shit. God... Mmm, I can't, you, there's no time, you gotta do it, like, perfectly. Okay, two tries left. Jump. Hop. I, I... <sighs> Last chance. I can't... Why? I hate you so much. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, so that's where I left off on my phone. And it's kind of hard. So <laughs> that is Prince of Persia Escape. Really fun to start out with. And I don't know that there's a way to go back and replay levels that you've already done. I think a couple of cool things I would love to see them add is um, it would be neat if you could go back and play, you know, um, play levels you've already done. Uh, it would be neat if you had another mode where you could kind of generate a random level and you could choose like a difficulty and so it, you know maybe you had three or four different difficulty levels and you could just kind of generate and like oh, okay here's a random um, you know with kind of stipulations on what the difficulties would be and but the coolest thing would be I think this would be one where like you could easily take like a grid and you could make your own levels and share them um, that would be kind of a neat thing but I mean for what it is like I said is yeah I could say the same thing about Mario Run Although, like, the Mario people, what do they do with Mario Maker? 
you get very few people who make actual levels that are, you know, fun, playable. Um, what everyone seems to do with a level creator is let's make something as brutally hard, brutally difficult as humanly possible, and then just you know make fun of people who can't, you know, who can't beat it. And then when you do, when you're doing a search to try to find a fun level, all you find is these brutally hard levels, and then you get frustrated. And then well, so much for that. Um, you know the the level editor. Um, but I, for, I mean, like, yeah, for what it is, I, I want to say the unlock ads or no ads thing was like maybe two, three bucks tops and easily worth it. I mean, it, like I said, it's just, it's Prince of Persia, but on the phone, it plays perfectly well without a touch or with a touch screen. And, you know, it ramps up def difficulty pretty steadily. And as you can see... For being a one-tap game, um, they do a lot with it. There's all kinds of obstacles, there's all kinds of timings, and it can get really hard. So, anyway, it is available for iOS right now. You can play it on iPad, iPhone. I'm not sure about Android, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79 mixer.com slash bgfh like the video if you did uh, keep, keep the subscribes coming and until next time I'll chat with you guys again later